Hello friends, and welcome to the Hangman in the Moon. Last night I got this package, and I had no idea what it was. It's called the Seeds of Shakti, or Shakti. Can you see that right there, Seeds of Shakti? <laughs> well, the reason why I decided to jump on and do a walkthrough of this deck is twofold. One is because I don't remember what this deck is, and I want to show you what I purchased. Um, I pre-ordered this deck some time ago. In fact, it was such a long time ago that I don't really remember why I ordered this deck. I'm usually not a buyer of goddess decks. Nothing wrong with goddess decks. They're just not my thing. I prefer to have decks that have both male and female. Um, god gods and goddesses. I really prefer a 50-50 deck, personally. Um, so I'm not sure why I ordered the Seeds of Shakti. I do remember that I received a few emails recently um, about the bag for the deck and what options there were. And honestly, when I received that email, I thought, did I order this deck? Did they send me that email by mistake? I'll respond, but I don't think this is my deck. <laughs> but here it is. So let's take a look. Um, I th the second reason is I think I might know the reason why I ordered this deck, even though it is called Seeds of Shakti, who is a female, a woman, a goddess, uh, from the Hindu tradition. It might be because of my appreciation and love for the Hindu traditions and yogic practices. I also vaguely remember that the lettering on it is somewhat similar to Sanskrit in look. It isn't Sanskrit, but it, I remember it being Sanskrit in look, and I love Sanskrit. So those two reasons may have been it. It might have also been the artwork. So let's open the package and see what's in there. If you're interested, Stay tuned. So friends, I have only opened the very top of this package. Um, I may have to pause just in case there's more plastic inside. I don't know what the inside packaging is going to be like, but let's pull out this lovely, well, first a card, this lovely card, and this lovely bag. Look at that. This beautifully, naturally dyed cotton, a very beautifully ba dyed bag. Um, the creator dyed these bags with turmeric, which is one of my favorite roots. I, t I eat it every day. Um, so yeah, isn't that color gorgeous? Does it show up nicely on ca It shows up nicely on camera. Okay, and it's printed here, Seeds of Shakti, Oracle. And you can see that the calligraphy or the font of the text is similar in style to uh, Sanskrit, which I think was one of the reasons that I decided to get this deck. Yeah, uh, Sanskrit and uh, yogic words are part of my meditation practice. So this is going to be a lovely oracle for me. I know that just from the beginning. Let's see what's in the card. Um, open it up and here we go. And it looks like it says, thank you. It says, if I can get it out of, <laughs> here we go. Yes, thank you, Sharon, Seeds of Shakti. Isn't that font beautiful? I love that font. And uh, an art card, very good. So you can see the hand of Shakti and the eye on the hand of Shakti and two probably, uh, I want to say partridges, but they may be peacocks. I'm not sure. Ah, look at the symbols. Here we have uh, fire, air, earth, 
water, the phases of the moon, the symbolism of this deck, I believe, is going to be amazing. And you can already tell that the color scheme, the color palette, is exactly my my style. I love these jewel tones of color. It's it's going to be a beautiful deck. I know that already. So, oh, I feel plastic. I may need to stop the camera to remove it. Let's see. The strings on the bag are very nice. It's a small oracle. It's a very small oracle. Um, let's leave that here for now because I love the color. Uh, let's see how difficult this is going to be. To, oh, that's so far so good. Okay, so Seeds of Shakti Oracle by Sharon Basanti. And the box is a two-piece box with thumb holes. The back says, with eyes closed, the truth is revealed. A very, for tarot, a very um, high priestess vibe, right? Sharon Basanti, Seeds of Shakti. We don't have a date, but I love that font. I just love that font. So the box is black and white, but inside is going to be bursting with color, I know. Now, if you want to see a size comparison, let me pull out my very commonly used U.S. Games universal rider weight. So you can see for size comparisons, this is a small oracle. Yeah, This is a very small oracle, which for someone with small hands is going to be perfect. For me, it might be a little difficult to shuffle. We'll have to see. The guidebook, very nice. Uh, so the printing is easy to read. It's black and white. There are no images with the text, but that's okay because it looks like it's in alphabetical order. And yeah, it'd be very easy to read. Uh, for my ancestors, very good opening statement. Introduction, I'll read this for you. Creating the seeds of Shakti Oracle was deeply healing for me. I was born in India and adopted at the age of four by a family living near the Alaskan Panhandle in Canada. I was yearning for a tangible connection to my ancestors and cultural roots. The deck came to fruition during the full moon in Cancer at the tail end of 2015 when I started to paint madly. The third edition that you hold in your hands, this is the third edition, contains more than half a dozen revised illustrations as the deck is a living entity that shifts as I do. The Seeds of Shakti Oracle is meant to inspire and support your spiritual growth, whether you are a novice or a seer. Draw on the guide booklet when you need to hear a message channeled by me. Otherwise, trust your intuition. The information in the digital guide book is not meant to teach you everything about Indian culture or Hinduism. Instead, it is an invitation for you to do your research and learn. You'll also find a seven day challenge and additional spreads there to delve deeper. Hmm, I might take up that challenge, we'll see. So there's also a digital guidebook um, and I haven't looked at that yet, but I will look at it soon. Uh, messages of the soul and we're right into the text. When I shuffle the deck at the end of this, um, I'll read one of these for you. Spreads to delve deeper. So there are some spreads at the back, very good, and they look like they're balanced spreads, which are which is important to me. Um, you can see the oh well, so good. Okay, wonderful. So these are by chakra, yeah. So the muladhara chakra, the Svadhisthana Chakra. Now, I told you that this was important for my meditation practice. I don't say these words out loud very often. Um, Manipura Chakra, chakra <laughs> Anahatta Chakra, Vishuddha Chakra, and there should be two more, yes? Anja Chakra, which is the third eye, and the Crown Chakra, Shahasara, 
Sahasrara Chakra. Okay, so you can see my pronunciation needs some work. I, I've only been saying these words in my head for a few years. So this is number 26 of 1000. And the deck that I hold in my hands is a deck that I've apparently been waiting for for a long time. Let me get rid of the box and let's look at the deck. I, yep, I guess these are the backs. No, these are the backs. Okay, so the backs are two colored. We have dark and light and they match up beautifully to create a full image. But we have black and white backs. Very nice. Here is the title card, and let's look at the deck. Okay, so we start with, ooh, I think I might have pulled and one card too many, no? Okay, so we start with the third eye chakra, yeah? Ajna. With eyes closed, the earth is revealed. So you see, the colors are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, third eye color. Um, the two-petaled lotus. The Om symbol. Yeah, we have the moon, a glimpse of the moon, the intuition. Um, with eyes closed, the truth is revealed. A very third eye chakra statement. And then we have Anahatta, which would be the heart chakra there. The heart is a mirror. Allow love to be reflected. And here we have the heart chakra symbol. This should be, is it 12? One, let's see, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, a twelve petal lotus. Here we have Bayan. Life and death are illusions. So, okay, so because these are in alphabetical order, they're not in order by chakra. In the deck, well, as it's presented in the deck. Of course, once it's shuffled, it wouldn't be in order anyways. Here we have Buddha. Buddha. Without acknowledging the shadows, enlightenment is elusive. Third eye marking here. The traditional hairstyle of the Buddha, the long earlobes of the Buddha. Beautiful. Camel, the, the resilience flourishes in the face of adversity. This camel looks the, like the cleanest camel I've ever seen. <laughs> Very doe-eyed camel. I love that. The sensor, released to create sac sacred space. And you notice the, the balance of color here. The hot and the cool. Aren't the colors in this deck gorgeous? I, this is my favorite color palette. Chai. Now chai. Tea. Chai means tea. A sacred pause with kind kindred spirits. I'd love to have a mug like this. Cobra. Kundalini rising, awakening the bliss. Yeah, Kundalini, the energy that arises, the spiritual or natural energy that arises up the spine, uh, connecting all the chakras. And the cobra is a symbol of kundalini. The cow nourish the body with wholeness from the earth. The white cow, a very traditional Hindu symbol. And we all know that the cow is sacred. Crystals, hearing is never linear, uh, healing is never linear. There are always ebbs and flows. Looking like uh, Amethyst, right? Beautiful. Amethyst is a healing crystal. A dark moon. Okay. Walk with the ancestors. I'm sorry, these cards want to run away from me. <laughs> oh, so we have a water buffalo walking with the ancestors with a third eye here. That's lovely. That's lovely. Diwali. Light shines out of the darkness. Yeah, this is a lamp. This would have oil here in the back and a wick burning, a traditional lamp. Lovely. Dream, 
Visions are potent spiritual truths. Isn't that the truth? I'm also interested in dream analysis in the Jungian tradition, which this is very much in line with. Drum, dance to the beat of sacred rhythms. Lovely. Earth Star, okay. Now, Earth Star is not used by many people, but I use it in my meditation practice, the Earth Star Chakra. Um, when I envision the Earth Star Chakra to differentiate it from the root chakra, um, I imagine it as a brown black. So this black here, because the root chakra is traditionally red, now, which is the red here, but I am imagine it as a dark, a brownish black, like roots from a tree, going down into the dark, nutrient-rich earth. Eclipse. Okay, lovely. Eclipse. Shatter the illusions by unearthing the truth. Fish. Change is inevitable. Reinvent to adapt. Now, reinvention, ad adaptation, and for some reason, I'm reminded of the fish cart in Lenormand. Um, perhaps it's because I'm studying Lenormand these days. Um, but yeah, change is inevitable. The fish cart in Lenormand is finances and earnings and wealth flowing in. So for me, this could also be reinvent to adapt for the flow of of resources into your life. The flower of life. Secrets of the universe lie within the patterns of life. And isn't that the truth? Life is ever-shifting, ever-changing patterns. Lovely. Is there a card behind there? I think there's a card I'm... Nope. These are very thick cards. Oh, there are two cards. Okay. This is thick cardstock, but I knew it wasn't that thick. Full moon. Cleanse to illum illuminate, illuminate. Lovely moon face, the moon symbol. And I like the color choice of lips and third eye color for this card. In a beautifully colored sky with stars glittering, beautiful. Ganesha. I have the Ganesha or Oracle, which is my first um, Hindu-based Oracle that I've owned and one of my favorites. I love Ganesha. Relinquish troubles into the hands of the divine. This is a very, very happy, serene Ganesha, isn't it? Hamsa, Hamsa. Enriched, I'm sorry, encircled in blessings of protection. And here's that hand of Shakti. Now, looking at this deck, you can see why I saw this as a balanced deck, which is why I ordered it. It's not only Shakti. I mean, it's the energy of Shakti, it's the seeds of Shakti, but it's not only Shakti images. It's a general um, Hindu-based oracle deck, which is the reason I bought, I purchased it. Hahurman, Hahurman, uh, I'm sorry, Hahuman, Unwavering Devotion. Yes, this is a very balanced deck. Very balanced deck. And here we have Kali. Look at that Kali. I love her. Oh, look at her eye. Her third eye. Her tongue. Oh, and the nose ring. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Kali. Endings create space for rebirth. The goddess of endings. Ah, oh, look at the color of her skin. Radiant in her power. I love that. And here we have Lakshmi. Lakshmi. I think that's it. I think that's good. I would need to double check. Uh, cultivate prosperity through generosity. Beautiful. And the lotus behind her, rising out of a lotus or a lotus, maybe her garments are lotus. The jewelry. Yeah, she's definitely a prosperous goddess, but a goddess of generosity, sharing that prosperity. The lingam. Duality interwinding, in, ah, interwining, yes, the lingam. So milk would be poured over this and flow out. Yeah. The Shiva Shakti joined in union. And here are lotuses dropping down. That's an interesting, 
interesting choice. But they're white. Perhaps the white uh, is to remind us of the white milk. Perhaps. Mala. Breathe deeply and chant to awaken the soul. Mala beads. If I get to India, I would like to get a set of mala beads there. Mahipura. Be fierce, instinctual, and strong-willed. Yeah? So this would be the third chakra. Yeah, the um, also known as the uh, solar plexus chakra for the Western people. Be fierce, instinctual, and strong-willed. Marigold, the flower. Learn, lean into rituals that honor the sacred. Isn't that color balance beautiful? The oranges, the hint of yellow around this blue and purple, I, within the blue and purple, beautiful. Monsoon. Monsoon season is important in India. Yeah? Navigate the waves of the unknown. Yes. So we have two cards here. The Muladhara. Muladhara. Which I believe is the root chakra. Breathe in. Anchor the soul. Four-petal lotus. Namaste. <laughs> Bow to the peace within, where the entire universe dwells. Now, the entire universe dwells within each of us. And so, namaste is recognize, recognizing the holy within each other. And the fullness within each other. New moon. Birth what the heart, heart desires. A beautiful peacock. I love this deck. I really love this deck. I love the colors. Om Shanti, calling forth cosmic peace. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Is this really... I'll trust her that this is a, a Hindu symbol, but it looks very much like a, an American symbol or a European symbol. We'll see. But look at the colors on the hands. Moons here. Petals of the lotus. Lovely. Okay, so... Peacock, the peacock, unleash the magic. Yes, the peacock is a magic animal, isn't it? The tail feathers, magic colors. And what do we have here? We have pomegranate. Okay, so pomegranate is a seed of prosperity are taking root. Now, pomegranate is also a seed of fertility in the tarot. So it's a beautiful symbol. Do you like pomegranates? I sometimes lo love pomegranates. I love the flavor of them, but sometimes I can't get around eating them because they're, it's a little bit tedious. Um, sha sarara, sha, I'm sorry, sha, sahasrara, sahasrara. There we go. <laughs> can you read it better than I do? I'm sure you can. Honor the divine wisdom within. So, this is the crown chakra, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. It should be a 20-petal lotus. And here we go down with Shakti. Here's Shakti, finally. Shakti, feel the fire burn within. Look at that beautiful, look at her beautiful hair. The markings, the eye, the third eye. A small marking here, the trident on her shoulder, the moon above her. Beautiful. Shell. Express the soul's authentic vibration. Yeah? When we hear, when we put a shell up to our ears, we hear a sound. And that's air vibration, right? It's not actually the ocean, it's vibration. And so express the soul's vibration. Let's see what is next. What is next? Here we have Dudia. Oh, finally, Shiva. Shiva, one of my favorite Hindu gods. Shiva, in his blue glory with the cobra around his neck, the Kundalini cobra. And he has a moon on his head too and his gorgeous hair and his third eye. Beautiful, beautiful god. And we have a singing bowl. I have a singing bowl. 
Did you see my singing bowl? Can you see my singing bowl at the bowl at the beginning of the clip? I think at the beginning of my videos, you can see of my singing bowl um, off my left shoulder. So yes, a singing bowl. Restore energetic flow with sacred sound. Cleansing sound, sacred sound. The universe so began with the sound in many traditions. Yeah, In uh, Judeo-Christian tradition, it was a word, but a word is also a sound, yes? Um, Hindu tradition, it started with an om. Soul star. So above the crown star is the soul star, which is also a chakra that I use. Ascend to connect with the universal mind. And when I envision the soul star, I envision white with gold. And so, yeah, I, it's interesting. It's not exact. Yeah, there's white here. There's gold. I can see my image of the soul star within this image as well, which is wonderful. This is all going to make me able to connect with this deck so much easier than I thought I might, that I would. Sri Ranta, gaze inward to harness the power of Shakti and Shiva. Sacred geometry here. Can you see the small red dot in the middle? I think it's a triangle. Now, these are all interconnected and overlaid triangles. Beautiful. And the star. Break up with doubt. Make the darn wish. <laughs> okay, yeah. I wasn't sure I was reading that correctly. But yes, make the darn wish. Wish upon a star. It's beautiful that the star is in the shape of a lotus, isn't it? The sun. Illuminations are self-imposed. I'm sorry, limitations are self-imposed. Radiate as if there are none. There are no limitations. Especially if we break down our own barriers. There are no limitations. This font. This font. I'm really getting into this font. Now this one's a difficult one. Svadhisitana. Svadhisitana. Create a vessel for creativity, sensuality, and passion to blossom. So this is the second chakra, which often is called the sacro chakra in Western tradition. Often orange. This looks a little redder than I usually think of it, but yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful. And how many petals? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six petal lotus. Tiger. On the other side of fear is courage. Tiger is a courageous creature. And you can see a marking at the tiger's third eye spot, perhaps. Interesting. Lovely. Now, what do you think? Is this a moon? Is it a sun? Let me know below. What do you think is behind the tiger? Turtle. Self-preservation is a balm for the heart. Turtles swimming through the sea. Universe. Every action has a reaction. And here we have what we would often call the bear or the Big Dipper. I wonder if there's a, another name, a Hindu name for this constellation. And we have Vishuddha. Vishuddha which should be the throat chakra. Yes, speak with integrity, listen with kindness. The very blue chakra. Waning moon. Purge unhealthy habits and patterns. Yeah, which is the purpose of the waning moon? Purging before the new beginning at the new moon. With new seeds. Waxing moon. Lean into what needs to blossom. The waxing moon. Waxing means the moon getting fuller. Lean into what needs to blossom. As the moon gets fuller, are the seeds planted in the new moon begin, begin to grow and blossom. Blossom into full moon. And yogi. Yogini. Maybe yogini. Uh, a person who does yogi. Move in silence to seek the answers. Which is the truth. All answers, all truth lies in silence. Which is amazing because here I am talking so much. So let me do a shuffle and do a, 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 a draw for us, for the collective, if you will. Let's see how it shuffles. Okay, it's a little bit stiff, but it gives a good riffle shuffle. 
It's a small deck with thick cardstock and let's see. Yeah, it doesn't bridge very well, but that's okay. Not all decks have to bridge. Let's see about overhand. Overhand works beautifully. Yeah, it doesn't clump. It's a matte finish to the cardstock. So let's see what we're going to pull. Give it a nut, one more shuffle, one more riffle shuffle, one more overhand. My favorite way to do an overhand shuffle is to break it into three, reorder them, and then go for it. Okay, they're not clumping horribly. Let's see what our card is. I'll pull a card, look at it, and then read from the book. Oh, it's a white card. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. Manipura. Manipura. Okay. Be fierce, instinctual, and strong. So this is the third chakra, the um, solar plexus chakra, right below, right at where the rib cage starts to split apart. Yeah, the Manipura. Let's see what the book says about Manipura. Okay, so it's an M, so finding it is very easy. Trust your gut. Even if you feel resistance rising up when you start to follow your intuitive inklings, listen to the clues your body is sending you, especially when you are interacting with folks who are deplete you or when you find yourself in situations that leave you feeling disempowered. Cut the cords by calling back your power so you can restore the fragmented pieces of your energy, stand in your power, energize your solar plexus chakra. That is a very good message for us today. Yeah? We want to energize our solar plexus chakra to have the power to be in the world, to act in the world, and to create in the world. So let me look at one of these black-backed cards to see, okay, I don't know that there is a rhyme or reason for which have white backs or which have black backs. Um, I don't see a, uh, an explanation of that here. Um, so perhaps it will take me doing some working with the deck to make that uh, distinction. But here we have it. The Seeds of Shakti Oracle. It's beautiful, isn't it? What do you think? I'd like to hear below. And you can order this at the creator's site. I will have a link below here so you can go order the deck yourself. Um, and thank you, as always. If you feel inclined to, if you feel you're activated, uh, like the video, to subscribe so you get notifications when I upload videos. I upload one or two videos a week. Um, and share this with anyone who you think might be interested in this oracle. And friends, as always, I wish you love, joy, well-being, and pure awareness. Thank you.